Snapple. I'm here at the Blue Zone at Munich Fabric Start at a stand called um, Dole. And um, could you introduce yourself and let us know what it is that you are doing here today? Yes, thank you very much. Uh, we are, so Dole, we are a French company and we are specialized in uh, metal trims. So we do basically rivets, buttons uh, for jeans mainly, but uh, also for garments and uh, also leather bags. And the subject of sustainability, which I'm sure you're very much aware of, is it's quite a hot topic right now. How is your company tackling that? Uh, yes, it's a quite hot topic right now, exactly. And uh, the thing is, we try to, uh, let's say, get back to the material itself, because from the material, you can already obtain several colors. And you don't have to change the color by adding chemicals or water or any, anything on. So we try to work with raw material and just play with the material itself. And this is how we can lower the level of, uh, let's say, impact on the environment for our production. And how have your customers been responding to the uh, changes that you're making? Yeah, they are responding quite well. Some, are, some of them are just, you know, they are coming to the booth and they say, okay, what's sustainable? What's sustainable for you? Mm. This is the first word you, you, you put on the table. Mm. So, yeah, they are, the response is quite, uh, quite good. And uh, yes, we, we find a way not to change so drastically the price. So if you are sustainable and pricing wise, uh, let's say almost the same as normal, uh, normal plating, then it's, it's, a good, it's a good way to, to find new customer. And, uh, and this is really also the way to change a little bit the denim market. And how have you found the blue zone? Is it been the experience so far been good considering COVID has kind of set back a lot of companies? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think uh, we are quite recovering now, uh, mm. but the period was uh, definitely uh, really, really difficult, especially because we were not able to travel anymore. So yes. we had to adapt ourselves and made more digital. And But for our product, it's really hard because you like to touch it, you like that to it. have yes. it in hands, you like to feel the, the material. So um, yeah, we, we adapt ourselves and now it's recovering, yeah. So you mentioned the word digital. I wanna yeah. just touch on that because we all know that a lot of companies are kind of turning to making their company a bit more digital. How are you guys coping with that? Because like you said, you need to touch and feel. Yeah, yeah. Ah, what, what we try is uh, we design, we photo shoot all our products. Mm -hmm. The collection is available online and you yes. can really uh, have it. We, you can also go deeply in the product because we make also three-dimension uh, design. So you can go in it, make it turn, and make it also on the on the jeans if you if you want. So we are trying to push, push. But also the, the mindset is important because first of all the, the, the customer were not ready to approve any color on digital. But now they start thinking, okay, I need to be able to approve the color. So we also try to find some ways to make the color really matching from a digital point of view, instead of having it on hand, so. But would you admit, would you, or Sasha, will you agree that the technology today is a little better? Yeah. In terms yeah. of making that match between yes. reality and, but and Also digital. the mindset has changed a little bit. Yeah. You know, before they were not absolute, it was absolutely not possible, but now they say, okay, we can, we can see the, the solution. And uh, so, yes, digital uh, mindset is changing, I, I, I guess, for the, for the Denny. And that's a good thing, right? Yeah, that's a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for having a chat with me. Thank you and very much. And enjoy the blue zone. Thank you.